Well, you know, when I when I think of family, I just think of the, the bond that these guys need to have together. You know, uh, getting to know each other in camp, it's one thing, but, uh, you know, really going through some trials and tribulations and some struggles together, uh, that's when you really find out what type of a, a family or, or a team that you are. Uh, I believe that we use the word family because we want to be closer than a team. We want to have something special that's going to last these guys uh, years to come, and it's going to help us get through some tight spots uh, this year during the season. I think uh, being able to bounce back from some reverse situations and times has helped us in the past, and uh, I'm looking for that to continue in 2014 and as we continue to build this program in the future. So um, I just want to know that when we walk out of these halls, out of these doors, that we've got each other's back in um, every type of situation that we get into, uh, whether it be on the field or, you know, if uh, someone's in a uh, wrong place at the wrong time, um, you know, where you, these young men can lean on each other and, and can lean on us as coaches and know that we're a family and, and uh, together that we can achieve great things. Each August, students descend upon Cleveland for the arrival of the new academic year. For the Delta State football team, August also means the arrival of Camp Delta in a new season. The team reports early in the morning on Saturday, August the 9th for a weekend of administrative duties in preparation for practice on Monday evening. The tasks include a picture day set up by the school's athletic communications office, a chance for players to either mean mug or show off smiles for their moms. Later that night, the Delta State family had their first dinner as a team. Both the spring champions and the athletes that stayed and worked out over the summer are rewarded by eating first and being put at the head of the table. Well, they sacrificed, you know, and I think when you sacrifice and you do things the right way, we're going to reward you for that. And that's why they got to sit at the head table, eat first and things like that, treat them a little more special. Because uh, they had to sacrifice to be here all summer. You know, a lot of those guys had to go out and find work. And, uh, a lot of them had to come up with a lot of money on their own to be here. And uh, those are the types of investments. And, and they also worked hard in the weight room with our strength staff all summer. We got a bunch of incoming freshmen, guys, uh, younger guys, that you will have a big brother assigned to you, okay? Now, here's how this works. I've always been a part of this in the past. I don't like it when coaches assign this and don't ever do anything else with it. If I assign you and I pair you up together, you will be called out after practice. I want to know about big brothers and little brothers. If you're not prepared, to speak about that person and tell me something about them, tell the whole family something about them, then the whole family is going to run some more. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. So take this very, very seriously. Did y'all plan this? You were boss man, self. Yeah, yeah. 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 I just think it makes it a little more easy, you know, to get to know somebody. When you have them step up in front of the team, the whole family, and start talking, it's a little hard to do that. But when they get to meet with somebody individually, one-on-one, -on -one, and that guy knows more people, and they, they, they get to know these guys. They know who they are. They just don't really know them. So they really get to spend time with each other, and they look out for them. And I think it's, it's a program that uh, was good for us last year. It's only going to get better. Our players, our older players, embrace it, and uh, we go from there. Yep. Monday marked the start of the 2014 season, with the first practice kicking off that evening. It's supposed to be the joy around all your brothers, I mean, serious brothers that you know, that you want to care for, the newcomers coming in, man, it's, um, it's unfathomable, unbelievable. Let's go. Todd Cool and his staff enter year two in Cleveland after an upstart seven and three season in 2013. He's got four brothers: Michael, Nicholas, Peter, Jalen, and uh, 
Chicago, moved to ATL, lived his life and went to high school. Now his family still lives there. Now he's here playing defensive line. His uncle has a ranch of some sort. Uh, he kn he knows through his mom that there are bulls there, either in Greenwood or Greenville. He said Green something. He's not sure. <laughs> he's a pretty solid pool partner. We're currently about to play in the semifinals of our pool tournament, and uh, he's also a pretty solid guy. Guys, that's what it takes right there. Let me tell you something. That's the difference. It wasn't even that hot today. That's the difference right there. When you know who your brother is, that's the difference. Don't forget it. Ain't come down to any scheme, any speed, any talent on the field. That's what's going to set us apart. Don't get it twisted. Does everybody understand? Yes, sir. We talk about being a family. That's what it's about. Nice. Nice old oh. English there, too. Oh, yeah, it's real cool, man, especially to play with the quarterback. You know, he's always the leader of the team and everything, so it's real good to be able to be his little brother but not, not today. these other guys. Not today. <laughs> but not today. And Zach moves to the loser's bracket. We've got this. Tiptoeing in my jaws. Yeah. 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 Let's go. That was my first career time ever. All right. <laughs> Getting the ball to go in. Yeah, Chandler. Chandler, right there, Chandler. Right no here. pressure, Chandler. Chandler? No pressure, Chandler. Don't you do it. I mean, we got upset. <laughs> we had the game won. I mean, we started off slow. We came back at the end. Um, my my boy um, Chandler got a lucky shot at the end. So, you know, we're going to win next time. To the right, where it bounces off of this and goes back that way. Ooh, See what yeah. I'm saying? Soft, soft. Uh, soft. That's a good shot. Get it, clear our balls up a little bit. I like that. I'll be honest, I'm not very happy. Um, a lot of thoughts running through my head about Travis Champion. Not, not real good friends with him at the moment, him or Chandler. Um, things almost got physical there for a minute, but I'm glad, I'm glad we could prevent that. We just put that thing on. Listen, Chandler, my friend Chandler, didn't make a shot the whole game. But, okay, I didn't see those, but. I'll get over it and I'll Here comes come back shot. tomorrow and beat him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take him out of his element. Don't choke. Take him out of his element. Oh, no. You uncomfortable. You already done. Hey, aim for this one right here. Try to, try to put that right there. Hey, get the seven. This is the second time we did it. Um, last year I had Vince Serrata and this year I got Juwan. And it's just, it helps us a lot to grow. The older guys grow with the younger guys. and. Meet, meet, and our, our theme is family, and it just makes us grow closer as a family. And um, Coach Cooley stresses that a lot, and just we've really bought into it.